Let the battle commence! For now, with the Moonlight Shadow, they get to extend the smoke to some degree. They just got discovered. Oh no, they're like, all right, guys. There's a the smoke here. They know where the enemy team is as well. This fight might not go the way that Singularity is expecting it to. I don't know if Wind and Rain can actually defend this. First, kill the Ogre. First step in any good plan. And they have stopped Boogie. They go for Saber Light. Saber Light's lasting quite a lot though. Even if he's stunned, he's just withstanding there. Saber Light taking all he can, finally being brought down. And here the Sven has the Medusa ultimate. He's Ray Decked and Gut Strike and tear her to shreds. And that is gone. And Nefrid might just be the next one. They just need to get a stun up first. They do. The Stormhammer's ready. Excalibur not even needed. Singularity. Here we go. Let's see, or not another, sorry. The first set of Rack Singularity, here we go. Cost strength not available though, so this push is a bit slow. Go set the first, what are you doing, Boogie? Don't keep in the middle of three, Mage. Harass them a lot, Saberlight could be in trouble, I'd be happy yet. He can be been committed, but no gun strength. And I get a double storm hammer, but Saberlight's gone. Goodbye to him. And the Stone Gaze annoying Excalibur, forced to go for Boogie instead. However, she's out of mind of this Dusa, put it up forever. She's never getting away, she's way too slow. Killed off together with an Ogre Magi. But it's just collateral damage every time. Do some might fight back. What are you doing, Hannah? But dying twice in a row. Hannah, this is not the play, buddy. You're stressing out a bit too much. Excalibur still deals damage. You want the steroids. Look at her go down. They have the ghost strength. And it's going to be Vex who gets the kill. As now, Nefrit joins the fray as well. And he gives himself to the Club of the Dead. Everyone's joining the other side. Wind and rain. Call the GG. It's over, guys. No escaping us. Don't bomb my Excalibur, he's getting ahead of himself here, going on to the Ender Spirit with Tiger coming in to try and help out, but he's got no ultimate just yet. So he might be able to pop the book and turn around, but actually, Mercade's just able to escape with the Remnant. Foxy's gonna get run down on that. It's looking that way, isn't it? Light Strike Array, that is gonna land, although in comes Insania to save the day, so they turn their attention, quickly deal with him. Now they look towards Boxy, in comes Reaper Side, not doing much to the left track, but now the tree comes in. He's got the overgrowth, the tower is dead, but the left track dropping low. Mage, he's gonna get finished off as Mickey jumps around the fight, but a Northern Liquid Hero gets culled up by Saberlight. A look towards Mickey as well, but this guy, he's got full health. He's got a lot of damage. Saberlight needs to be careful. I ride with the light. Do you see the shrine being used? So it will be available if there's an engagement up here? We do end up seeing Saber. The slow is on him, but uh, he's got phase boots, so it's not like he really got slow in that one. Storm Spirit making a good zip through. He does manage to find Muff. Muff with a disruption available. Willow Wits go through, so it will break the Crystal Maiden ultimate. Centaur ultimate being expended as well. They're just clicking away. They do manage to find Muff, but that's not really a big trade. They want to get more. The TB comes in, throws out the meta, trying to find one target. They find the Maiden as well, so that's two. They're relatively okay with this, but they really want a core to kill. And they find the Invoker. It's the first one to get. They toss him up in the air. He goes down as well. The buyback from the Shadow Demon. Everyone's super low. Major fall underneath the tower. Curry will be the next one to fall. Excalibur clicking away. He's still has Sunder, and he does in fact do that. Muff goes down, that's a dieback. Early into the game at 14 minutes, they're still looking for Boom, and Tetsu just channeling up the Keeper Wave. They find the Axe Call as well, the toss into the air. That's a five-man wipe into the 14-minute game. Ooh. But, um, likely boots of travel here. See a smoke, but the Invoker pops it immediately. Willow Wisp on the back line as well. They're trying to confirm the kill. The Centaur ult's not going to slow things down for the time being because the good old call from Saber, though. The stun comes in from Curry. They'll find the kill out on Saber Light, and now it's looking for more, though. Supreme will eat the dirt. They have the next kill going out to two available here, and they're just all stacked on top of each other. Storm, though, out of mana, looking for the kill on the main, getting pretty low on the back lines here. Will mostly die to earn. They do get the kill on Muff, and we have Mage trying to run away. Boom with no defusal to catch him just quite yet, and now they have possibly the counter kill potential. In fact, Muff, in fact, Boom actually goes down instead. Fear he who fears nothing. Kind of identifying that, you know, Nico may be maybe slightly vulnerable if he's all alone in the world, but if Lim can never die, that's never a problem. Maybe 33 should build a heart too. Five hearts, Steve. But why not? I what right now how does Singularity kill anyone if they all have hearts? Arrow. Arrow I'm dying now time. Flow through the installing, doesn't connect. Now the stampede, 30 
free, lifted up for a while. Scalver going pretty deep now. The boat's gonna come through though. Stuns him up. Terrible. Needs to be a little bit careful. BKB activate. Nico Baby is willing to fight. Wants to get rid of the other targets first though. Chasing down Saber Light. 33 will die on the back line. Lincoln gets popped, but Nico Baby doesn't care. No way of stopping him. He does what he wants. He's away from the fight in the meantime, which means the fighter will go down. But the arrow connects and Mage in trouble. BKBs. Limp getting low. Spirit Vessel's there, so the heart doesn't matter, but he gets the kill. Excalibur and DNZ go down. That's the big cleave, and now Nico Baby here to clean up the rest as he returns to the middle of the fight. May trying to back away, 33. Buffs him up, arrow whiffs. They have got the duel, and they want to touch him. Oh, uh, Nico Baby's is... fingers weren't quick enough this time. Mage gets out just in time while killing off Hanskin. They'll get him back to him building this, so like, okay. Let them try and stop me. I think he gets both ruptures off. Oh, they've already found one here with the oh, isolation. They keep on getting off Excalibur. Oracle trying to save him, keep him alive and fighting shape for now, but Gunner's coming in with the Aegis. A lot of damage. He's going to man fight with Excalibur. Held in position through the rupture. He has stayed alive for now, but isolated on the very far side of the fight is the Tiny. They're going to keep on engaging forward. Mage coming in, locking on to Gunner, but can they get any kills in this fight? Oh, 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 oh. It's on two. Excalibur's going to burst the corner right through. Gunner standing strong through it all, and another rupture Locking now major position. He's gonna back away. The toss two Spider oh, no. is pulling down soon. They're gonna finish him off. They don't even need this extra one. Blinking in, buying back. So far. They wanna get Skyder, but he's too quick. He's too evasive. Biver tosses them away. Oh. Does end up making it out here. Gunner, Gunner that was oh. life number one. Can he win on life number two? Is the question. Blinking forward, big commitment, skewer back. Absolute chaos, so and it looks like in the end they probably do get the gunner kill here. It's called the as well. Nice, you. One more. That would have been a kill for sure. Finish him off.